Hi guys, just thought I'd show a couple of a couple more things. Um, got the setup here. I've got the I've got the wire there going down and connected to the pot again. Here, um, wire just goes down into the pot. Um, got another piece of wire in the pot here the wire to the other coil I've just got sitting over the top there like that now at the moment you know, I can still get an output over there but just like that and then if I pull the wire off the output stops So I'll put the wire back on and if it starts again. Um, what I've noticed, a couple of pretty neat things. If I um, put a neon down into the dirt, like this, get some neon lighting effects. The, um, if you hold it like that, the leg of the neon gets quite hot, the whole neon gets quite hot actually. You connect the other coil to that. Similar thing, after a while it gets quite hot. Um, the other thing I've got here, I've set the camera down. Got a um, 25, oh, 25 watt oven globe here. What I'll do is I'll just one one wire there is poked into the dirt. Right. Get some light down on it, and the other end I'll just grab the wire. You can see I can get the globe to glow a little bit just like that. What I'll do is I'll turn it in a bit better. <coughs> Shut while I'm holding on to it. You can see the current's passing to me. Now if I grab the wire for the other coil, same time, the, um, the other coil lights up. You can't, I can't show, of course, There's enough arms and legs. But the other coil lights up through the globe. Thought that was fairly neat. A couple of watts there. Probably go through and that. Um, another thing. What is the uh, leaf of the plant? It's in there. Also allows the lighting of the neon. And high frequency currents. Make that possible. Okay, thank you.